Welcome back guys. So today we're going to be doing a bit of modifying. It's one you've been waiting for. We get to work on the car and we get to... Uh, what do we get to do? Drive around. No we're not driving around. We've got with us today, replacing Seth, we've got... A keel. Bigger keel. You know when you've got a proper Subaru enthusiast, when you're even rocking the Subaru merch, aren't you? Right, what are we going to be doing today, boys? Um, we're going to be putting um, new wheels onto the Subaru and spun it and following it. That's right, we've got a load of goodies here for you guys, haven't we? So what we've got there, we've got some new rims. We're going 19 inch on the version 9 STI. It's uh, not what everyone agrees with, but we like the look of these, so we're going to be putting them on. What else have we got, boys? That's it, we've got some time springs here. They're going to be going on because we want to bring that ride height down a little bit. Especially when we put the 19s on, that's going to send the car up, isn't it? And then we want to bring it back down again. So let's get it jacked up, let's get the wheels and everything off and let's make a start. Right, first thing we've got to take the shock absorber off so we can do the uh, spring on it. So we've got two big bolts down here and we've got three bolts up here that we have to undo to get this shock absorber out of the way. These are a little bit easier than the GC8 models because the ABS wire and the brake hose is bolted to the shocker rather than passing through which means you don't have to take the whole brake pipe off to take the shock absorber off. Right, we'll get the bottom bolts off first, we'll get these out of the way. That's the bottom off, yeah? Mm -hmm. The top one off. Can you see? There we have it. One shock absorber. Right guys, we're going to do the front springs on this car now. Now the way I'm going to do them, a lot of people don't advise doing it this way because it can be dangerous, so make sure you know what you're doing uh, before you do this. And the way normally you would use spring compressors to hold the tension off on these before you undo this. Now, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm all the time in the field. That's one problem here, it's too noisy, isn't it? So I'm just going to use a ratchet strap. To take a bit of this tension off whilst I undo this bolt with the buzz gun and then we can let it off. <coughs> right, so we've got the homemade spring compressor on there just to stop this flying off and also I'm going to put it up against here so that it can't uh, fly away anywhere, we should be okay with this. So. There we 
go. We've got that top off there. And now, stand clear. Now we know that the bolt can't fly off because we've already got this on. We'll just point it this way. There shouldn't be much tension on it anyway. And we'll just, there we go, crack that off. And we've got one spring released. So you can already see how much lower these, these are going to make the car. You can see how much smaller in size they are compared to the original spring. That's the original spring there. And you can see the tiny ones a lot smaller. So let's get that one on. Akil, you give me this. So I'm going to get Akil to help me now. You stand that side. Normally you'd use a spring compressor or the same method that I did before to pull the spring down. But because the, these are so much smaller, I'm hoping just with a bit of pressure I can get this nut started on the top of it. So let's just... Right, in fact, can you turn that when I tell you to turn it on the nut? So I'm going to push it down, you get that on the end of there, and I want you to wind it onto that. Yeah. Tightening up. What was that? Where? Right, let go of it. No, that ain't even gone on. Have you just been doing it like that? Instead of that? No. Oh. that's the nut there. What you need, look, is when that pokes through, that nut goes on onto it. Do you put that on there? Yeah. Is it going on? No. Right. Right, wow. That was a bit hard work. But we've got it on. And it's ready to go back on the car. Let's get this uh, back on now. So. I think I've just done that a bit too tight now. So what we're getting is this should turn at the top and it isn't doing, well, I know why it isn't. Stop, stop. Right, this is some sh something you should always check before putting it back in. This top mount should be nice and free and spinning around. It isn't because this thing fell out. So that means we've got to take it back off again now and put it back together. Right, okay. bit of grease on there. There we go. And what we'll do, put a bit of grease on the bearing there. Right, so this is the difference, you see that? That's what it should have been doing last time. But we forgot that thing, didn't we? <laughs> Your fault. <laughs> Now something important to remember is this top bolt is an adjustable camber bolt so you have to be careful getting this back in to make sure you get the alignment right because this determines the toe angle of the wheel hub so let's get this back together on this side I'm just going to put this back to factory settings and I'm going to use the rust mark on the hub to work out where that is so that where, wherever it was originally, it will find its own way back. There you go, you see? So right now, 
I'm back to where it was before I took it apart. Right, something important when you're changing wheels to aftermarket on Subarus, that's your standard Subaru wheel nut. That won't do on an aftermarket wheel because what tends to happen is, is there's not enough of a shoulder to uh, work with the wheel uh, stud hole so it tends to cut into the alloy and it's just it's just completely wrong the Subaru wheels come with a steel insert which means that they can use those nuts so if ever you're changing to aftermarket it's more than likely you have to put an aftermarket wheel nut on and you can see how much bigger that shoulder is on the aftermarket nut which means it just sits nice and snug against the uh, wheel when you put this on worth remembering isn't it Akeem? Right guys, it's been a successful afternoon modifying. I've had some great help off uh, Akeel and Sammy. Seth's just shown up, he's not really done much but he's here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you <laughs> Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Hello!